In this video, we're going to be going over a two's complement binary, which is essentially just binary with negative numbers that you need to know for a higher level. Uh, first, we're going to quickly revise National 5 binary. So I've got this guide here um, that I will put up online. Um, I'll let you read over the Nat 5 bit, but I'm just going to, I've got this PowerPoint here where I'm just going to quickly get rid of the rust um, about binary. So, um, Binary is just like how we count up in tens, um, but like one ten hundred, but instead you double it, and normally you do eight bits, um, and you just so you're just doubling it that many times. All you've got to do is, if you've got a number here, so convert convert the following number into decimal. You just put the zeros and ones under. Um, hopefully, I'm assuming everyone remembers this, and then but I'll do it just in case. And then you've just got to look where the ones are and go 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 1, which gives us 89, I believe. Yeah. And that's it. Sometimes you get the other way around where you've got a, you get a decimal or denary number and you have to make it into binary. So you've just got 79. What you've got to do is ask yourself, does 128 fit into 79? No, it doesn't. So you put a zero. Does 64? Yeah, it does. So you put a one. That leaves you a 15. Does 30? Now, some of you might be thinking there's a really easy way to cheat it out, where if you know it's one less than one of these numbers, you just make one, 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 one. But we'll go through it anyway, just in case. Um, so does, so we've got 15, does 32 fit into 15? No, it doesn't. Does 16 fit into 15? No, it doesn't. Does eight fit into 15? Yeah, it does. So 15 minus eight. And you can just do this on a calculator. You just keep subtracting the numbers as you go along. So 15 minus eight is seven. Does four fit into seven? Yeah, it does. That only leaves us with three, which means two and one. And that is the binary number for 79. Sometimes it will go over um, you'll get uh, 255, which is the max number you get for adding these up. So if you've got that, you just need to go up another column. So this would be 256, and you can go 512, 1024, and so on. But 300 with 256, subtract that, it gives you 44. And then you got 0, 0. 44 minus 32 is 12, which means it's 8 and 4. And because you've got nothing left, it's 0. And that is NAT5 binary. So hopefully everyone knew that already, but I just thought I'd go over it just in case. For higher, um, so I've got this guide here, which I'll go through first. It's a little bit different. It starts off exactly the same. Um, where is it? So say you've got a number, minus 41. This is what you're gonna be asked. It's called two's complement. I just realized it's spelled wrong. Um, so two's complement. You just do 41 as usual if you got asked for negative 41. So just like we did two seconds ago. And then you get this number. Step two at a higher level is to flip the bits or negate the bits. And that just means you turn every zero into a one and every one into a zero. So this becomes this. And then you add one to it like a chimney sum back in P4 or whatever. So you just do one plus zero. And that's it, you just add one plus zero and, and that's your answer. There's a possible step four, if it's, an, this, if it's odd numbers, it'll be easy. If it's an even number, so say minus 42 instead, um, so you get this going through the steps. Now when you add one to it, what's gonna happen is one plus one, um, you can't write two, because the highest number you get in binary is, is one. So you write zero, and then you carry the one, similar to how you carry the tens in in primary school with your chimney sums. Um, and then you just keep carrying it until you can finally put it in somewhere. And that's it. So the other way to do it is sometimes you're, it'll say, you this is a two's complement binary number. Can you turn it into decimal or denary? And then what you've got to do is you flip the bits first. So you, you get this and you just flip them all around and then you add one to it like a chimney sum again, and that's your answer. Um, and then you add them up like you did at nat five, and, and then you get 99 for this one. Now, the key is you look at the first digit, like the original digit. So 
it was originally this and because it's a one this is this is and as you mentioned in two's complement right this is no longer 128 technically speaking this is something called the signed bit but it's easier just to put 120 in your calculations and basically a zero is a positive number and a one is a negative number so if it started with a one um, you just add a negative sign to it so we're going to get negative 99 and, and that's it if it starts with a zero well if it starts with a zero you actually don't even flip the bits you just do the old nat 5 method that we covered at the start um, it's just a regular binary number I highly doubt you're going to be asked about that in an exam for. I think that's quite cruel, actually. So I've got some examples of this um, I'll go over, because I know I just raced through that. So convert the following number into binary using two's complement representation. Minus 51. So first thing you've got to do is, so I'm just going to do this. I, I, I'm just using my mouse, so I apologize how ugly this looks. I mean, it's just what I've got at home. I mean, I'm acting like I don't do this in class, but whatever. So 51. So it doesn't fit in, 128 doesn't fit into 51. 64 doesn't either. 32 does, so you put a one. That leaves us with 19, I believe. So you get 16 and then that, finish it off with that. So just like the nat five, that's what you gotta do. So for two's complement, step two is you flip or negate the bits. So you, you can, if you want, do the negate sign, which is this little, it's like a weird side, like turn around L. And you just turn every zero into a one. Okay. And then the next step is you do a chimney sum and you just do one plus zero. That's it, one plus zero is one. So, and the rest of the number remains exactly the same. And that's your answer. That's negative 51 in two's complement binary. Let's say it's an even number, so it's a bit more difficult. Uh, negative 68, so zero. 64 fits in, so that's one, that leaves us with four. Um, so, Then you go to step two, you do a little symbol and you turn every zero into a one. Oops. And then you do, the next step is you write the plus one. So it's a little bit different here. So we do one plus one. So the max number we can get, we can't go up to two. So you do zero and then you carry a one underneath. So then you ask yourself one plus one, again, you can't do it. So you do zero and then you get, z um, sorry, then you carry the one. Zero plus one is one. And then the rest of it just remains exactly the same. And that is negative 68 in binary. The other way round so we're told this is a two's complement number so there's a one at the start we know it's going to be a negative number remember that but you actually lose the mark if you don't do that and the little quiz i've set up if you don't type in the negative symbol you don't get the mark because you don't get the mark in the exam that way so you add up all the numbers as normal so we've got one two eight um sorry you just put in this as normal what am i talking about you don't add them up yet and then you flip them. And then you do your plus one as before. So this becomes, I don't think I've left myself enough space. Great. And then it's just exactly the same. Right. Now you add them up as you did before. So we've got 64 plus 32, that's 96 plus eight, that's 104, plus four, that's 108, plus one, that's 109. So 109. But remember, the bit that's gonna lose you the mark if you, well, if you don't remember it, you look at what it was originally. If it's a one, because this is technically speaking the sign bit, and it's positive is zero, and negative is one. So remember those numbers. 
Um, so because it was a 1 originally, this makes it negative 109. And that's it. So just remember that last bit or you will lose the mark. You won't get anything for it. Um, slightly different one. Um, so 1110, so we'll just put and then, then we we're not adding them up yet, so you flip them and that is zero. Okay, so you go plus one. Now the easy way to do this, once you actually get used to it, you can do like the carry the one, carry the one, carry the one, but I think it's easier just to think of it this way. Look for the first zero and just plug the one in there. So put it here. And then you just do zeros, it's all gonna be zeros. It's up to you, you can do the carrying way if you want. And st it wasn't carrying there, but you can do the carrying way if you want. Um, I just think it's easier. Look for the first zero, you know you're gonna carry the ones over and over again and just make everything else zero. And then everything else remains the same. So now we've got to add this up. So this is 16 plus eight, so that gives us 24. But because there's a one at the start, it's gonna be negative 24. If there was a zero here, you would just do it in that five way. You wouldn't bother flipping it or whatever. I highly, highly doubt there's gonna be a zero full. Um, and yeah, that is, that's everything for me. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, just wanna finish the video um, with a word from our sponsors. If you download Raid Shadow Legends, it, it's the best game of all time. I play it every day. If 10,000 of you download it, I'll get a bonus. So please download Raid Shadow Legends. Right, thank you. Bye.